Good morning. Welcome to Crafting with Madam K. So if you watched my video yesterday, I was using the Cricut machine to cut out some labels for glass etching. So what I have here is a piece of glass that I'm going to etch this, um, this label for Doki Doki Chocolate, which is a chocolate company that will be selling delicious uh, chocolate covered pretzels at Lost Lands in Columbus, Ohio here in about a week. Um, so we're going to etch this into the glass, that way we can put it on the front of the display. So I cleaned the glass really well with Windex, so it's nice and clean, and I cut out the design in the circuit, or in the Cricut cutter, using the tutorial I had yesterday, or more of a review than a tutorial. I put the, the cutout on the glass, but I pulled out the negative space, that way I can use this decal for something else later. So I try not to waste anything. That way I can put that on a t-shirt or something else. So I have this centered on the glass and what I'm using is some velvet etching cream. So this is a really old bottle. It was only $17. I'm not sure if it still costs that much, but a little bit goes a long way. So it's definitely worth it. Even if this bottle was $30, it would still be worth it. So this is highly corrosive, I think hydrofluoric acid. Um, it's a really highly corrosive material for etching glass, so whatever it touches, it is going to etch. Um, so because of that, I am actually going to wear gloves. A lot of times when I'm doing my crafting, I just skip the gloves, but working with um, corrosive acids, I think I'll wear some gloves. And by the way, this piece of glass only costs a dollar at Goodwill. I'd recommend if you do a project like this, go to Goodwill, check out some um, picture frames. Go on their Sunday where everything of one color is a dollar, and I just grabbed any random picture, and it was the glass that was the perfect size. I got this bag of makeup sponges from the Dollar Tree, so these work perfect for applying the etching cream. I'm going to just give this a good shake. And once you apply the cream, whatever it touches is going to etch and give it that frosted design. So you really want to make sure that when you put your decal on, you smooth around the edges as much as possible. If there's any gaps, like a bubble on the edge, it's going to get underneath there and it's going to ruin your design. Okay. Just put down. Something to protect my surfaces here. Now another reason I like using the sponges to apply it is because you can dab. Because again, if you brush it across, you might brush underneath the, um, the contact paper. And I'm just going to use what shook off in the cap <clears throat> so I'm not dipping my hands in the bottle. And just using the thicker side of the sponge, just go ahead and straight up and down, just dab, the, dab it on there. Now I want to put it on really thick. I'm really not sure if putting it on thicker means that it's going to etch deeper, but I really want to make sure that this gets a really solid design. So I'm going to put it on really thick. I'm probably going to let it sit for like five to eight minutes. So once I get that all, oops, see I dropped a little bit. If that had landed on the glass, I would have completely ruined it. Once I get this all on and let it sit for about five to eight minutes, I'll go ahead and get the video, come back and show you how to wash this off because that's a whole technique in itself too. Especially when you're dabbing around the delicate areas, just be careful that it doesn't get underneath the vinyl. It also smells a little bit like rotten eggs, so if you're really sensitive to smells, uh, you might want to put on a mask of some sort too. It's not that bad, but it definitely smells.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a while. I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. So it's been about eight to 10 minutes, so I'm ready to rinse this off. So what I'm gonna do is I have it in the sink. I have a jug of water um, and I have a bunch of paper towels. So I'm gonna run the water, but I have the jug too to really douse it in water because you wanna get this etching cream off as quickly as possible because again, if it, as the contact paper gets wet, it's going to lift up around the edges and if any of that etching cream gets down inside of it, it's going to etch outside of the lines. So we really don't want that. So as I start to run the water, I'm gonna take the paper towels and I'm gonna quickly just run down this as fast as I can to get this etching cream off as fast as I can. So once we turn the water on, it's really gonna start moving fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and just blast it. Like it got on the edges anywhere which is good so we'll remove the, the decal and see what we got here good so far it's a nice deep etching I can tell it'll look more when I dry it off but right now just trying to scratch off the decals I can feel my my nails running against the uh, the frosted glass so it's a nice frosted etching which is perfect and if you didn't see my video yesterday um, I was talking about how there's vinyl that comes with the Cricut machine or that you purchase specifically for the Cricut, but what I used was duct tape brand or 3M um, contact paper. It ran through the Cricut machine perfectly. It sticks to the glass perfectly. It only costs a couple bucks for a huge roll, so I would strongly recommend doing that. Save some money and it works just, just as good. Can you see it? Maybe if I put it up against the wall. There you go. You can kind of at least see the, the shadow of it right now. It's a little wet, but, but it's perfect. So we're going to try running some LED lights through it to really make a cool, um, cool design for that Lost Lands display. So if any of my uh, viewers out there are going to Lost Lands in Thornville, Ohio next week, make sure to come find me at the Doki Doki chocolate sign and say hi. Thanks for tuning in to Crafting the Madam K Way. It may not be the right way, but it's the Madam K Way. <laughs>